and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Right then, this is Sharky from Sharkade. Now today I'm going to show off a Masters of the Universe custom 32 inch stand up. This is a new design, so it's got more of a classic look. So I'll show off everything in a moment. Um, we also have a Dead or Alive 2 Ultimate Deluxe Control Panel as well. That's a 16 terabyte hyperspin build, fully plug and play arcade system, high end gaming PC inside. Um, over 98,000 plus games on there and um, tons of next gen titles like um, Mortal Kombat 11, Star Wars The Fallen Order, Devil May Cry 5, Her Horizon Zero Dawn, um, Forza Horizon 5 and tons, tons more cool titles. Now then I'll cut away and then I'll come back and show off the beautiful artwork that's on these two units. This He-Man one is a stunner. So I'll catch us in a second. Right, so we'll start down the left hand side of the unit where He-Man is. So we've got this nice high quality He-Man image there with a nice glow around He-Man and this lightning effect coming through. Now in the background, we've got a lot of old school images just um, tiled in the background there, um, which you can just see faded in slightly. And then we have He-Man stood there with a sword. And then that lightning coming in just nicely, coming off a sword and stuff. Looks really cool. Now then across the control panel, we have the same sort of theme. We have He-Man there, Skeletor, and the other characters on there as well. And we've got this nice blue to red faded effect on the trim. And then we have a He-Man custom dust cover there, which just looks really, really vibrant. Um, really nice quality custom dust cover there. And then we have this blue button layout. And then if we come across to the right hand side, to the red side, we have Skeletor there. Not a super high quality custom dust cover. Now throughout the trim of the screen area, we do have the blue and coming across, we do have the purple to red there and same effect going across the marquee there. So we'll have that nice school, old school image there, He-Man image and then the Masters of the Universe logo there and the trim follows through the same. Now we do have chrome T-molding on this unit now if we look down on the front panel here, that image is just stunning. It's really, really nice, vibrant, high quality image. Um, you've got plenty of effects in the background there. And basically I got this one image and I themed the cabinet basically around this image, the colors and everything else. Um, if we look at the mini amp here, it's slightly different to the ones we usually use. Um, I ordered the same amps as I usually do, but for some reason the sent is these things, which are square. So what I've done is I've laser cut a template out, which fits in perfectly. And I've just printed on that acrylic there, um, the blue to purple effect fits in nicely. Looks really, really nice on there. Um, these work just exactly the same as the other amps um, you have here. Um, radio on there, you have your memory card slots, your USB ports, and so on. 
Um, so yeah, super high quality artwork on the front there. I really like that image. It's so nice, so vibrant. Actually enhanced this to the highest possible quality to pure HD quality on there. I mean that image size is just huge. Um, so I had to vector that um, to the massive, massive quality. So if we just go over to the right hand side and then on the right hand side there we do have Skeletal. So I'll just turn that down. So we have Skeletal there. And same effect as the other side, but with this one I've got lightning coming from his legs and stuff. And then just coming up around the top of him there. And the same sort of effect in the background, but different images. So we'll have different images on that side um, in the background. So you really got to get in and have a look at the different artworks and stuff that's in there. Um, which blends in just nicely with the theme itself. Then if we head up to the top of the unit, we have a nice purpley starry background there. And then we have the custom grill, which if you look, it's on the red side. So we've got a nice red grill there with the Masters of the Universe logo. And over the side, it fades in to that blue there. So I've actually got it fading in dark slightly darker on that side of the grill to red that side same with that side blue to the the dark blue to the lighter blue that side so i've got it all themed perfectly looks absolutely stunning those grills are just so vibrant so nicely printed and um, looks really 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 cool so this unit is an 11 terabyte setup it's not my average 11 terabyte build i've added some other stuff on there that's on the 16 terabyte build um, and we have the switch stuff and the um techno parrot stuff and so on so all those systems are on there it does have some pc plus games and also as you've seen on the main menu if we just move up there we just head up to the first system so i've got masters of the universe the game and um, it's the open board game set up so if we just start sorry start loading. um so yeah we we'll load the game up so i've also got the masters of the universe um intro as soon as the um, system starts up as well so you'll see that um hd and um, video load up So let's press start. This is set up with both controllers. And this is probably the best, I would say, um, He-Man game that there is. So we have our punch, our jump, and our special is the third button. I'll try and do this one-handed. I seem to be hitting a lot of mains and getting shot. But yeah, it's a pretty cool game. To quit the game, we'll just press start. Go to end game. And then we'll just go down to quit. And that'll take us back to the hyperspin menu. Now we'll just quickly go up to... We do have the Techno Parrot stuff on there. We have other new systems as well. The other new systems that's on the 16 terabyte build. And then um, there is the PC Plus games. Now we have um, a few of the 16 terabyte build games on there. So we have Alan Wake, new game, the new um, re remastered version of Alan Wake on there. We have Alex the Kid DX. We have Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Balan, Wonderla, Wonderworld, Battle Toads, Bayonetta, Beyond Two Souls, Bio Mutant, Bloodstained. Um, I do have to remove. I have to add that um, wee lot as well for Castlevania. Um, and then Days Gone. We have Far Cry, Far Cry Four, Five, 
The Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 15, Fist, which is a cool game, Forza Rise of 4 and 5, Ghost Runner. Um, I don't know why it hasn't got God of War on there. Um, I may have to just rename. That's I know why that is. Um, so then, the because I've had to create a new drive for this, and I compiled a new database for the setup, so I've just got to go in and change the name of, of a couple of the um, wee lots. So I'll, I'll, before the unit goes off, I'll rename those. I think there was four games at the Riyadh because the names were different to the folder name, to what the actual wee lot name is. So yeah, I'll just add those in. So we've got Castlevania, Lords of Shadows there. Um, I think there was four in total, God of War, um, Marvel Avengers and then Resident Evil Village but if we go into them they will load so we'll just I don't have a um, controller plugged in I should pl plug in a controller so we've got these new Xbox controllers that I use um, these are Spark Fox and the more of an Xbox One style controller so let's have these two wires tangled up so let's move these controllers Sorry about that, I caught the record button. So then, um, we have the controller synced up, plugged in and synced up, and we will just load that system there. So at the moment, the um, video needs renamed to God of War, or the whole system, I'll probably name, rename the system to God Space of War, um, like it is on the other drive. And then it saves us changing the media and the wheel art and stuff on there. So. Let's go ahead, load that system. That game, sorry. So this does have an RTX 2060 graphics card in. It has 16 gig of DDR4 RAM, 120 gig SSD, a Ryzen 5 CPU, and that 11 terabyte hyperspin setup. So the PC performance of this game is great. I mean, you can run everything in high settings on this game itself. Um, but I'll not get right into the gameplay. I just wanted to show that it did load up i've just got to rename the database um so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take a look at this dreamcast um dead or alive 2 ultimate deluxe control panel now i have the tv turned down at the moment um i'll just turn that up so then this unit is a 16 terabyte hyperspin high-end gaming PC inside. Now it's a two-player fight stick, which is plug and play. Um, you do get a five meter HDMI cable, which I have over here, all brand new, packaged, ready to go with this unit. You get two Xbox 360 controllers. You do get a Wii controller kit with the mere flash sensor bar and a wireless keyboard and mouse. Now, inside this unit is a Ryzen 5 3600 CPU, so a little bit more powerful CPU than the 2600 that goes in standard 11 and 16 terabyte builds on my stand-ups. It has a small form factor motherboard, so mini ITX motherboard inside. So it costs quite a little, little bit for those small form factor motherboards at the moment. Um, it has a small form factor 600 watt PSU, it has an RTX 3060 graphics card and 16 gig of DDR4 RAM with our 16 terabyte hyperspin build in a 120 gig M.2 SSD. So slightly faster SSD, that's in this one. Slightly better GPU, that's in this one. Also slightly better motherboard, that's in this one. And what else was a, a slightly faster CPU? That's in this one. So that tiny machine there 
fully plug and play you can carry around the house plug into your upstairs tv downstairs tv your pc monitor take around your friends fully transportable unit you have um your power cable that just comes out the back plugs in so you can um that that is a modular power supply as well so it'll do 120 volt as well as 200 up to 240 and you have a hdmi port you also have display ports on the back you have wi-fi with this unit and um, wi-fi i only put on my machine so you can connect to the internet and i can do fixes to the machine if you have any issues with games and systems but if you are well versed in um, hyperspin and you do want to um, add steam games you can but I do not recommend it. I recommend customers stay completely offline unless it's for fix issues or unless you want to download something. You ring me up, I'll tell you how to disable everything that needs to be disabled before going on the internet safely and then you can go ahead and get your new titles, your new games, add some new titles on there, even remove stuff, etc. Um, so, like I say, this unit here, such a small unit is actually more powerful than this big stand up here. Um, super high quality parts inside, so we have the um, Sanwa sticks and buttons on this unit. Um, we do have this nice blue and white, just simple design. We have these purple and blue buttons. They look quite blue on the camera, but the center's purple. And we have these nice um, Kedit bicolor ball tops. Now these ball tops have like a purple, color on top and fades down to blue really really nice and um, looking on this unit and then we have that nice high quality dead or alive 2 artwork we do have the dreamcast logo there in the center someone was joking um on one of the social media pages about it looking like a um a hob ring basically like a kooka ring which was um i found quite funny because it does um, so we have those high quality Dreamcast custom dust covers there also which look just really vibrant on this unit. I don't want to try and get behind but we have extra USB ports on the back. We have also two USB 3.0 ports on the side um, and we have a I think a micro USB-C port, audio outputs as well as display port outputs as well. So you can it, theoretically you can rig this up to three displays if you want to. Um, I do recommend running these in 1080p, though it has got a 3060 graphics card, you can get away with 2K gaming. There is a couple of systems when you do run on 2K and stuff like that, that you will have to change settings, because all my settings are defaulted to 1080p um, for most of the game systems and so on. So um, for the next gen PC titles, you can change the resolution to 2K, run it at 2K, and it should um, handle that no problem. But for best performance, higher frame rates, I do recommend 1080p. And um, these range from 2,500, these units, um, just because of the, perform the high quality performance parts inside, the price of the parts and everything else, you think, wow, 2,000, I, I know it's a lot of money for just a set of arcade sticks, but these are probably the world's smallest set of arcade sticks that you'll get. And um, they're fully, like I say, fully transportable. Um, you won't get anything this small at this performance. It's ridiculous. The amount of games that's on there, the performance of the machine is just absolutely crazy. So I'll just quickly preview a couple of what we do have on here. We have the system with no name there. Um, we do ha have, if we go down, open board stuff. We have PC fighting games. Now this is on the standard 8 terabyte setup. So we have Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Injustice um, 1 and 2. We have Killer Instinct. A few older PC titles now. We have Tekken 7 um, and so on. So let's go back. Let's go to the newer stuff. So then, we have stuff like Nine Monkeys of Shaolin, Absolver, Adventure Time, Athen Falls. We have um, Afro Samurai 2, Alan Wake. Alex a kid, we have Aliens, we have the Assassin's Creed collection, so we have Valhalla on there as well, we have Balan Wonderland, Batman collection, Battletoads, Bioshock, Blaze Blue, Borderlands, we do have Chop, Cobra Kai, Control, Crash Bandicoot 4, 
um, Deer's gone. So you're looking at a lot of high-end PC titles on there. We have Devil May Cry 5. We have Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We have Fallout 4. Um, we have Far Cry 5. Forza Horizon 4 and 5. Um, we have Ghost Runner. We do have Ghost and Goblins. Um, I know there's a couple of new titles out. Um, I won't have time to add them to this system itself. But um, I'll be doing a tutorial on how to get those new games. I believe there's a new one um, called Ghostwire, which is a quality game. I've played a little bit of that, and it's really, really cool. And there's also King of Fighters 15, I believe, that's also out. So um, I'll do a tutorial on how to get those for the Sharkade um, owners themselves. So let's head down. We have Hot Wheels Unleashed, Hotline Miami, Hunt Down, Hunt Down... I keep raging about this in videos. This game is absolutely cool, man. It's probably one of my top games at the moment. Um, there's also another one on the... I'll, I'll, I've got another game as well, another cool 80s outrun style game that I'll show off in a later video as well. So, Kenna in the Bridge of Spirits. So you're looking at all brand new titles in that Mafia 3, the Definitive Edition, Marvel Avengers, um, Mortal Kombat 11. So if we, we have Neo 1 and 2 there, um, Ori and the Wisps, uh, Will of the Wisps is it? R-Type Dimensions, Brad Rogers, Rage 2, Mirage, Resident Evil um, 2 the remake, 3 the remake, Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil Village, Resident Evil HD Mastered, Resident Evil Revelations 2, um, Sam and Max Save the World, um, Shank 2's on there, we have Streets of Rage 4 as well on the system, um, Street Fighter 5, Championship Edition, Evil Within 1 and 2, we have House of the Dead Overkill as well on there, King of Fighters 14, like I say, there is 15 out as well, so I'll do a video of that. And um, the Takeover, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Ultimate, and um, Werewolf, the Apocalypse Earth Blood, is it? Windbound, Wolfenstein. And I have skipped through a couple of other games on there as well, um, but yeah, there's tons of really cool next gen titles on there. Um, and the performance of this machine has no problem handling all those games. So then, the next project, once these are wrapped up and ready to go, we have a Fallout custom arcade cabinet. Now, this is Nuka Cola um, design. I've got some cool artwork going, uh, side art that's going to go on this. We do have a spinner in the front of this unit. Um, there isn't a great deal, especially on bar tops, to add spinners. And um, the stand-ups is just enough room. Um, it's uh, it's not my thing. I mean, I just use the arcade sticks or a um, USB mouse spinners. I'm not I'm not a fan of. But customer really really wanted a spinner on there, so I've got a spinner on there. I was gonna do the um, Nuka Cola um, bottle cap design on that spinner there. But when I attached it to the unit, I actually like the way it looks as it is. So I am going to do some Nuka Cola custom dust covers on this um, and have some Vault custom grills. So really, really nice looking design, nice rustic, dusty look. I don't know what team all to go with, but I will send the customer some designer, some examples of the um, team all tomorrow. Um, I should have a lot of this unit actually finished tomorrow. So hopefully I can get this done by midweek. Um, I do have my daughter down next week, so I'll probably not take the time off. I'll be taking some time off because I, I rarely get to see her. Um, I don't really get to spend much time with my daughter, only in the holidays. So I will be taking bits of time off, but I will be coming in in between when the kids are busy playing and stuff. To do some work so it shouldn't hold us up at all and that's why i've made a quick start on this one beginning of the week um, and hopefully like i say tomorrow um, most of this unit will hopefully be built um, and i should have it finished by the end of the week this unit and i think i've got some bar tops and stuff like that the next few weeks um, i believe next week anyways i can have someone come in and do bits of work as well for us 
so I could just come in, do some printing and stuff, and leave them build the unit themselves. But um, let us know what you think of this design. I absolutely love it. It's going to look cool as hell. Um, uh, and also let us know what you think of this He-Man. Um, leave a comment below what you think of this classic He-Man look. I've got to say, it is absolutely beautiful from top to bottom. All the classic artwork, all the high quality images. Um, and these aren't easy images to get hold of. The high quality artwork for um, old school He-Man is quite difficult to get hold of and make um, large enough to fit these panels uh, at the highest possible quality. So I've done a lot of editing to make these images um, top notch quality. So then I'll stop rabbiting on. Um, like, share, subscribe to the videos, hit that notification bell and I'll catch us in the next one. Bye.